Hey guys, what is up? Thanks for tuning in to my third video for creating Microsoft Paint together. I did a little bit of work outside of our video editing. It was just like small things like setting up this uh, header. I added a little hover effect to the, the colors. I also centered these objects and I created a color card, which we did create in the other video, but um, I just imported the data as props from the color container. So rather than having the map be a div, I have each card because that's that's going to be important for uh, when we use states to store our color, brush type, or brush weight. So today, um, in the given time we have, I do want to try to set up a state where this it's an object. I so it's an object. So like if we if we click orange, um, the color will be orange and the the brush weight will be on thin and then if it's like brush it, the type i guess based on brush bucket or eraser um some an object something like this would be nice as i use state so let's say for example we'll just say the tool equals so we got the brush thin, and then we can get like let's scroll this down we can have the type brush. So item, oh, wait, wait, type. And then we can have, what can we have for the last one? Maybe color, right? And then this will just be like red. So by having a state that's gonna be like this, we can sort of like, look through the tools um, every time this updates and then sort of extract what the cursor will do. Um, yeah, and I think I want to have this in the card container. Let's see. It might be in the header, actually. So the reason why I want to have it in the header rather than color containers, is see how the weight, the type, and the color will be changing depending on what we set. And the only way we can access this data is by entering these components. And we can't change the tools um, or the type of the brush just from the color container. We can only change the color from there because we don't have access to these data sources. So by setting the state in the header, it'll give us access to all three components. Const, say utensil, and then we'll do use state as be like tool. Can have a this and then we can have a weight that's our default weight we can have it as normal I guess right that's what it's here and then we can have it as tools we can have it as brush so now we want to pass in the utensil into the container right so that in the color container it will be doing everything we need. Um, and we want to have the set utensil be passed through here, but we can have like a handle. Actually, let's do that function handle uh, utensil. So let's see console. So the new update item. And then all I do is like if the key matches tool, weight, or color, it's gonna choose that and update that with the updated item. Let's see if that will work. Handle utensil. Now we need to go into each of these and add props. Let's do that here. Let's let's have this like spaced out. So color container, we need to add the prop utensils. Tools. Okay, tools is over here. So maybe on click. E event passed in through. Oops. And we can pass in the event. Let's see what that gives. Let's see if we can parse out this pencil from here. So let's bring this on to the other lines. And then, so if we go over here, let's see, refresh this, inspect the pencil. Let's see if we can extract the pencil from here. So I just press the pencil. I think it's usually in the target. 
and then in the target it might be the value or i guess it's inner or text content okay let's share that event target target dot inner text right or we did text content so save that refresh this x the name equals maybe brush let's see if that works okay so if i set a name here and then say this to bucket and then we'll say this name as eraser boom save that refresh this it should give us the brush bucket or eraser right so now we want to do this set utensil duplicate the utensil maybe not yet so maybe we can say const new item new utensil equals utensil and then from here dot updated item or dot oh wow I want to update the tools so we'll say tool graphic console dot log new utensil I think this will work if we refresh it'll show the eraser here replaced now this will show the bucket here as a tool and then the brush so the only weird thing is that we are declaring it as a tool hmm maybe we can have a second item here type i don't know type maybe we can handle this and then we can add a tool let's try that let's see if this works all right let's add this as a string let's see if that works so if i do this wait what the heck is happening why is it two well it is like updating something Type is declared, but never its value is never read. I wonder what's happening. Why is it? Ooh, key item. See, that's where it's weird. Maybe I have to do this, get the key value. I hope this works. Bucket. Okay, there we go. So it was just like changing this to a, a bracket notation rather than the dot notation, which is super nice. Now I can basically do the same thing here to the brush. So let's bring up the brush here. So we need to import the handle utensil because that's being passed in as a prop from the header. And then from here, we wanna also give each of these a name equals thin function. I don't know. I don't know if on change would be better. I mean, it should be okay. In the utensil similarly we want to pass this in as an anonymous function here so that we can use the event target dot value that name event and then as a second item we want to pass in the brush right because that's what's oh it's the weight sorry that's the key we're passing in weight is undefined okay correct because treating it like a variable. So here we can do a holder, key holder maybe. So that's easier to follow. I think now if we change this, it should display the, let's see the event. Let's see what that gives. What the heck? We got the change. We got the target, right? Oh, value. Okay, cool. Okay, then I guess we don't need the, the the names which is so interesting cool normal th thick thin let's just change that to lowercase so if you put in normal it'll just be wait as normal to mask that okay and i think the last thing you want is to get the okay so in the color container you want to receive the in the utensil within each color card we want to also pass the the handle utensil right so in this color card, we want it, we passed in the handle utensil, put this in so that every time we do on click, right? I think so. 
on click, we're going to do a handle utensil. And the first object is going to be the color. And the second object is going to be color as well, because that's what the key is for our use state. Save that. So now if we see it's running automatically here. So most likely that means that we need to treat this like a anonymous function so that it only runs whenever we do the on click. So if you click this, the color should be yellow. Cool. So the default is brush normal black. Let's see if we can change all these to eraser, thin, and red. And if it's eraser, thin, red. Oh, is it because we're, maybe I don't need this actually. Ooh, there we go. So the reason why it's not doing that is because we're not setting the new utensil in. Oopsies. Maybe I can console like the new utensil. Oh, I guess it is. Eraser, thick, red. Yellow, thick, yellow. Okay, cool. So that's it. End of this video. We got it all working uh, how I wanted to. So the next video, hopefully we can use this object for my use state and then try to get something working on here. That's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys.